Welcome to the Delling Pod with me, James Dellingpole. I have so many treats lined up for you in the next few days. I feel like the ambassador in the Ferrero Rocher advert, giving you all manner of chocolatey treats out of the goodness of my heart. First up, we've got a podcast with my guest, not my special guest, my guest, you know who it is, Dick Dellingpole. If you want to hear this podcast now, all you have to go and do is subscribe to my Patreon site and you will get instant access. You will also get very soon access to my next podcast, which is with Simon Dolan. Simon is the guy who lives in Monaco. He's an ex-Le Mans champion. He's a self-made millionaire. He is funding the, the judicial review against the, the UK government's lockdown policy. And then third, we have... Carbon Mike, another podcast with Carbon Mike. These are all yours sooner rather than later if you sign up to my my Patreon, which, by the way, is building up a really good community of people just like you. And I'm I'm also writing more stuff for it as well, including my not my spectator column. So please sign up. I really appreciate having you with me on board the Delling Pole Enrichment Support Program. So go to pet, Patreon and sign up now. Thank you. Bye. Watching Fellowship of the Ring again last night. And that scene where those stupid bloody hobbits are frying their breakfast in that, you know, in that place where the dark riders are looking yeah, yeah. for them. Yeah, and they're sending up smoke. and It's, it's just so stupid. for you, their second breakfast. You, you kind Greedy of... Greedy little sod. You kind of want... If I'd written that book, mm. I would have killed Merry and and. Well, there's enough of them to kill off, isn't there? I mean, and particularly why given do you they've put got in spare hobbits, you put them in so you can have them killed in horrible ways. Somebody made a good point to me about that film, which uh, up until that point I had thought that it was just perfect in every way, but actually they made the point, the kind of Irish twiddly pipe. Uh, the Irish element, the Irishry that that mm-hmm. creeps in, it's not Tolkien's vision. That Tolkien did not imagine illan pipes, whatever they are, or twiddly twiddly pipes that mm-hmm. that um, that come in. You know, that's that general sort of Irish accent stuff that comes in among some of the hobbits. Right. It's not. It's not meant to be. I shall have to rewatch with that in mind. No disrespect for to, to the Irish, because I, I, actually, some I've got some really nice Irish supporters on my. You know, I get nice nice me- messages from Ireland. Mm-hmm. You know, it's well, not it's another it's gone. another case of. Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. It's sort of, uh, you know, it's not their fault that they, they've got but also such a terrible it, government It at the does moment. remind us of, of, of that this is a global problem. Where do we go apart from maybe Costa Rica? Somebody said Chile. Yeah. Well, Chile, but I don't speak Spanish. And, and also, Chile's really long. It didn't put the Nazis off, did it? They're well, par- Paraguay they went to, Dick. Well, I think they, they, they went to a lot of South American countries.